talked about Beethoven a little bit and how you learned about him putting out music independently, classical music. Yes. He may be like the first independent artist ever, <laughs> Beethoven. Yeah. That's that's a big cap. That's dope. That's so I definitely got to do my research on that. Mm-hmm. That was dope. But talk about how it is being an independent artist, or if you're if you have a situation right now with the label, independent label, so how you're distributing your music, publishing. Right. I think we're transitioning because we saw the death of big labels, the traditional ones, right? Because with the digital age, they didn't know with Spotify, with iTunes, uh, like actually with Apple Music, the streaming sites, um, it sort of killed the traditions of uh, how it worked, right? Before they would hire, like they would find talents and they would develop them and give them, you know, studio time forever. Uh, I mean, what like the Beatles, I think, worked on an album for a year in the studio. They had like access, like, well, this is unimaginable. I just don't even like think how how could this happen today? Uh, people make music now from their bedrooms. I mean, it's like. That goes back to the phrase like practice makes perfect. Right. Repetition is key. Right. You know, so it's good that, you know, you, you install that in yourself and have that drive to keep going. Right, exactly. And, you know, mistakes aren't actually that important if you can develop from them. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Be- because if you don't make mistakes, how are you going to even, you know, learn anything new? Mistake equals like a uh, new venture and in any field too, I think. Yeah. Gotta learn from the mistakes. <laughs> Yo, this is Leo Black exclusively at Dame Dash Studios, and this is Leo Black Show.